Hey guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Hey guys, Brent here, uh, top dollar for so I just skinned one of the stinkiest kites of the year. It was shot and terrible. I made a video of it, but uh, pretty disgusting. So we'll maybe uh, save that one for a blooper reel. So I'm going to show my system again. Like I said in the last video, uh, this is not a how to skin a kite the fastest or the best or the easiest. Uh, this is just showing how I skin kites. So, <clears throat> so first thing I do, grab my kite. Choke it by the back leg, get her up in the ceiling. So I'm just using paracord on both sides and then I have this little system. It's a, like a block and tackle system. Seems to work pretty well for me. And first thing I do is I will uh, give my coyote a quick brush. This is a semi heavy uh, female, I believe. I haven't even checked its sex so give it a quick brush make sure that it doesn't have a snare left on it because that'll give you problems if it has a snare pretty sure this was a shot coyote so my first cut is just at the base of the vent and then i'll follow the color line up the back of the legs high past what i would call the knee and uh I go so high just so if I make a little slip up at the top when I'm pulling them that uh, I can shorten that up and I can always shorten those legs later. So pull, pull that leg down right to the tail and then I'm going to do my cut up the other side. I think this is a shot kite that was shot in the, in kind of the hind quarter here. So we'll see once we open them up what kind of damage we're looking at it doesn't look bad from the outside on the hide at all so this might be a little bit messy on the inside so i've opened the other side up bring that leg same thing pull it down pull it hide right down to the base of the tail pull the hide around to the front so just checking for sex now and we have a little female so we'll pull the belly down and then what i like to do is pull down the base of the tail like that sometimes i'll use my steel to get in there but this is a juvenile kite so pretty easy pulling use my knife to open the tail up a little bit make a couple slits on both sides and use my tail stripper to free up that tail Ugh. so I pulled that tail out a little bit of a mistake but this is a good opportunity to show what you should do when you make a mistake on the tail. So I just hang that up by another string. And the reason why that pulled on me is because that coyote was shot in the rear. So that freed up that tail pretty easily. Make sure I remember to split the tail with my little tail splitter tool. Then I'll just pull it down a little bit farther. All right, this is where I grab my strings. So these are just paracord. I twist them into a loop like that. And I hook these around the legs on both sides. And this is what I hook my uh, winch to. Okay, got that hooked up. Looks like there wasn't too much damage in the rear. As far as the pelt, there is a little bit of damage in the carcass, but we don't worry about that. Okay. Now what I do is extend my winch out. And hook it up to those strings. And then start pulling with my winch, keeping it tight. So 
I see that this Cayute is a hair green in the belly, not a big deal. I'll just be careful not to pull it too hard. So all I did there was uh, freed up the legs a little bit and the neck. I used my steel to stick my steel in between the leg and the hide. And then I'll pull my legs back towards me. A little bit of blood. I like to leave my front legs long also. Free those up. Do a little bit more skinning on the neck. And I pull right past the ears. Free the ears up and we're going to take the ear cartilage out also. You won't be able to see in this video when you take the ear cartilage out very good. But uh, I'll talk you through it. So I pull the ears through cartilage towards me. And then I'll make a slit on both sides of the ears. And then I use a pair of pliers. The pliers that I use are a set of channel locks. And I'll just grab the corner of the ear, drive my thumb in between the cartilage and the fur. And the cartilage is out that fast. Tighten this guy up a little bit more. All skin until the eyes come free on one side. Then I'll do the eyes and the cheek on the other side. So this kite was skin or was shot in the rear and then finished with a small caliber in the head. I hate when guys shoot kites in the head when they don't need to. Because if this kite was finished with a lung shot. It would have died just as quick and there wouldn't be all this head trauma for me to skin around but that's the way she goes so just freeing up the chin and then we're going to do a little bit of detailed skinning around the nose the base of the nose you don't want to leave a bunch of cartilage in there and it's free now all i have to do is uh remove my paracords off the legs of this Cayute and then I'll turn it inside out for storage because I'm not going to finish this Cayute today. So we stick my hand inside right in between the shoulders. Also the nose and the tail are kind of in the same spot. And then we're going to pull this Cayute down. So this guy goes outside to freeze. And I'll set my next Cayute up. So guys, that's kind of how I uh, skin my Cayutes. Uh, like I said, it's probably not the fastest way. Maybe not even the easiest way. But for me, who, you know, needs to come out and do a bunch of coyotes in a row, the winch really, really saves some time. So that's why I do it like that. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hey guys, if you made it this far, make sure you like and subscribe.